Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy, as well as the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into it. As you can see on screen, all three major indexes, such as the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and the Dow Jones, are down right now because investors were suddenly worried that the Federal Reserve won't cut interest rates in June. Like we've talked about on this channel before, if the Fed does decide to cut interest rates, this will act as a positive catalyst for the general stock market. The problem here is that the opposite is also true. If they do not cut interest rates, this will cause the general stock market to downtrend. But in my personal opinion, I do believe that the Federal Reserve will eventually lower interest rates, thus creating a fantastic catalyst which should boost the general stock market sometime later this this year. Sadly, the bad news does not start there because we also have a negative news update in regards to Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA. If you didn't know, Tesla is an electric vehicle manufacturer which also specializes in energy storage, energy generation, as well as artificial intelligence. As you can see on screen, their share price dropped by around 4.9% down to just $166.63 for their Tesla shares. The reason why Tesla stock ended up dropping is because they released a report where they badly missed sales expectations. So I say let's just dive right into this Tesla story. Further along in this report, Tesla revealed their first year-over-year -year sales decline since 2020, and investors did not like the sound of that. So that's why many investors are selling their shares right now, but I think this is the wrong thing to do. On top of that, investors are also worried because the company delivered only 386,810 cars in quarter one of 2024, which represents an 8.5% decrease from the year earlier. The article goes on to say that Wall Street analysts predicted that deliveries would be down since the company warned of, quote, notably low Lower growth in January due to the process of building out a new model and high interest rates making it harder for people to buy new cars. However, investors should have known that this was coming because the CEO of Tesla named Elon Musk as well as many Wall Street analysts actually predicted that this would happen, so I don't think this should have taken investors by surprise. To be completely transparent with you, I personally am buying into Tesla right now because the lower the share price goes, the more I am buying into this company because they have a huge upcoming catalysts. One such catalyst would be in 2025 to where this company will release their new budget model, which is going to be great news. This will lift their sales significantly and this will also inflate their delivery numbers. And on top of that, once they release full self-driving in their taxi service, this is going to be another huge catalyst. That's why I would encourage you to do your own research on this company to determine whether or not it's going to be a good buying opportunity for you and your portfolio, because as of right now, I am buying this company on a weakness and I think that's the best thing to do. Next up, let's talk about Apple, which is a gigantic technology company, and Apple is in the news in regards to their Vision Pro headset. If you didn't know, the Vision Pro is a mixed reality headset that has been criticized for, quote, leaving some users feeling cut off from the rest of the world. But luckily, Apple has implemented new collaboration features to where people who are using a Vision Pro headsets can feel more connected. This is clearly a positive catalyst for Apple, and I do think that their Vision Pro is going to continuously sell very well, considering the immense amount of technology that has been poured into this particular headset. But with that being said, I still think that Meta Platforms, ticker symbol META, has a better overall headset than Apple, considering that it is much cheaper and it has a roughly comparable technology. Yet despite this, people will still buy the Apple Vision Pro because it has Apple's name brand on it, so they have no problem paying a huge premium for an Apple product even though they could get comparable technology in other devices. This type of behavior is most prevalent in regards to their personal computers as well as their iPhones, but this does allow Apple to make huge margins and a lot of money off of their products, which is why I personally am a huge investor in Apple. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this down below in the comments. You should also be aware that GE has broken their company up into three separate businesses, which would include their aerospace business, their energy business, as well as their healthcare business. These three businesses will be split into three separate companies, and in my personal opinion, I would follow their aerospace company and their new energy company. 
because that's really what GE is known for, but I'll leave that decision up to you. Next up, let's talk about Amazon. This company is an e-commerce giant, which also has a lot of other brands underneath their umbrella, and their ticker symbol is AMZN. The reason why Amazon is in the news is because they are taking their cashless just walkout technology to a whole new level by implementing it into their grocery stores. If you didn't already know, Amazon already has a few of these shops set up around town, and you should also know that Amazon also owns Whole Foods, so potentially we could see this type of technology be integrated there as well. Imagine you loading your cart with all of the things that you want to buy, and you just walk out of the store, and then you immediately get a charge on your phone and your card. So ultimately, this will add convenience to customers. So I would love to hear your thoughts about this huge development for Amazon down below as they continue to work on this technology. Next up, let's talk more about Tesla in regards to why Kathy Wood, who is the CEO of ARK Invest, has a $2,000 bearish price target on Tesla. Kathy Wood was always a huge proponent of Tesla, and honestly, she has been right in this regard for quite a while now because she has made loads of money from this particular investment. In a recent ARK Invest call, Kathy Wood reiterated her price target for Tesla's TSLA shares of up to $2,000. She justifies this amazing price target, believing that the value of this company is yet to be untied. She believes that much of Tesla's value is tied up in their up-and-coming self-driving robo-taxi business, and honestly, I do agree with her on that point. However, on the opposite side of the argument, we see a fund manager who says that Tesla's share price should only be worth around $14 per share. This $14 price target would value Tesla as a company at around $40 billion, which would be less than General Motors and Ford. On the other end, Kathy Wood's price target of $2,000 would value Tesla as a company at around $6.3 trillion, which would make them by far the most valuable company on Earth. In my personal opinion, I think that both of these extremes just don't do justice to Tesla and what they are actually bringing in fundamentally regarding the company as well as their future growth prospects. That's why I personally believe that Tesla could reach $300 per share over the next few years, making right now a fantastic buying opportunity. So I'd love to hear your thoughts down below about Tesla shares. But we're not done talking about Tesla yet because their CEO, who is none other than Elon Musk, believes that Tesla will become one, if not the most valuable company on planet Earth. This means that Tesla would need to be worth more than Apple and Saudi Aramco, and Elon Musk says he believes that Tesla will be worth than both of these companies combined. This ends up giving evidence and fuel to Kathy Wood's original $2,000 price target and a valuation of $6.3 billion. However, according to the article, the problem for Tesla investors is at their current valuation. When we compare Tesla to a company like Toyota, they trade for only 10 times their estimated earnings, while Tesla trades at 43 times their 2025 earnings. And ideally, the lower this number is, the better value it is for investors looking to buy into this company on an earnings basis. But according to Elon Musk, Tesla's growth is just getting started, which means that they could grow in to their current valuation in regards to their overall accounting ratio. Elon Musk says Tesla is currently between two major growth waves, and these catalysts would include their expansion of their Model 3 and Model Y platforms, as well as their self-driving capabilities, which Kathy Wood highlighted in our previous article. On top of that, you also need to remember that in 2025, they will release their budget electric vehicle, which should only be worth approximately $25,000, which is very cheap for an electric vehicle. But please keep in mind that Tesla's earnings per share this year are anticipated to drop to around $2.80, but then growth will return to this company in 2025 to where their earnings could surge up to $3.88 per share, which is great news for shareholders. You should also be aware that Tesla is anticipating to double their overall sales over the next five years, and considering that current duration, Toyota and Ford are only anticipated to increase by 20 or 10% during that same time period in regards to their sales. This means that Tesla is going to rapidly outpace Toyota and Ford over the next five years, making it a much better investment than Toyota and Ford. Therefore, the year of 2024 is going to be very rocky for Tesla investors, which is why I'm using this current volatility in their share price to accumulate shares before things get really good for this company. But remember to always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decision. Speaking about Ford, they are another automotive company that has done very well lately, considering that their sales surged by 6.8%, which caused their share price to spike. Recently, Ford, ticker symbol F, reported very very strong first quarter sales. According to the article, Ford said that their quarter one U.S. sales jumped by 6.8% up to 508,083 vehicles. This is 
is thanks to strong sales in regards to their electric vehicles, their hybrid vehicles, and their gas vehicles. On top of that, Ford's Maverick Hybrid pickup saw its best quarter ever, with its sales jumping by 77% just in the fourth quarter. Maverick also powered their overall hybrid sales, lifting it by 42%, so these are fantastic metrics for Ford. But we did have some bad news in regards to their Ford F-150 sales, in regards to their F-Series, and their F-Series would include the Ford F-150, the heavy-duty Ford F-250, and the F-350. Although Ford did maintain their crown of America's top-selling truck, their sales for these vehicles did drop by around 10.2%, which is not good news. Yet investors can still look on the bright side because Ford will release their new Ford F-150, which should invigorate sales. According to the president of Ford Blue, which is the unit which covers Ford's traditional gas and hybrid offerings as well as the F-Series, he says this, and I quote, The new F-150 will be a big play for us across gas, hybrid, and electric vehicle segments of our business. With the new F-150 and all-new Ranger sales beginning in March along with the strong performance of our all-new Lincoln Nautilus and Nautilus Hybrid, we are in a strong position to capitalize and grow as we move through 2024. And that's exactly what investors wanted to hear. Therefore, investors should look forward forward to Ford's full quarter one financial results, which will be released after the bell on Wednesday, April 24th. So if you press the like button and subscribe right now, I'll be sure to include that in a future news update. Next up, let's talk about Aquestive Therapeutics. And if you didn't know, we've covered this company a few times on this channel and their ticker symbol is AQST. For context, Aquestive Therapeutics is a specialty pharmaceutical company that advances and commercializes medicines to solve critical healthcare problems. And the reason that they're in the news today is because they filed a prospectus related to the offer and sale of $250 million worth of mixed securities. This ended up lifting their share price by around 5.8% to where now the company is trading at around $4.38. However, you should be aware that I personally do not hold this company in my portfolio because they are hyper risky. So always make sure to do your own investigation into any of these companies before you make an investment decision. Next up, let's talk about Dave & Buster's, which is essentially the adult version of Chuck E. Cheese's. So let's dive right into this news because this has acted as a very positive catalyst for their stock, ticker symbol P-L-A-Y, ticker name Play. To quote straight from the article, Dave & Buster's Entertainment is in the process of executing on a series of positive growth initiatives, and Piper Sandler commends the company on its ability to deliver a beta and margins better than expected. The article goes on to say, but with most of the good news already priced in and the risk-reward balanced, the firm moves to the sidelines and downgraded Dave & Buster's play to neutral from overweight. But despite this downgrade, in regards to the rating, investors still really liked this overall news. But it seems that investors are overlooking a lot more than that, considering that the company also recently reported that their consensus profit and their sales came in below expectations. But this did not stop investors from buying into this company, considering that their share price jumped by 10.3% due to this buying activity. Meanwhile, the Piper Sandler analyst gave this company a $71 price target, which is higher than their current share price of around $67 per share. At the end of the day, in regards to their accounting ratio, the company is trading at approximately 7.6 times their 2024 adjusted EBITDA estimate, which makes this company a pretty good buying opportunity and relatively cheap. This is why analysts are very bullish on this company and they rate this company as a buy rating. But again, always make sure to do your own research. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new. Comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next YT video.